All right, today I'm going to tie a little fly that I call the drowning mouse. It's uh, real similar to the shop rat, rat pattern that uh, Joe O'Brien tied a little while back. Uh, I'm just doing this on a straight hook without, a little art, without any articulation. It's uh, relatively easy, doesn't take a lot of materials. I like to tie simple flies. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, just put on a thread base and then my tail is ultra chenille. I like to make this tail fairly long, about two, two and a half times the length of the body. I think that tail in the water can be a nice trigger. Wash that down on the hook. I'm going to tie it down just a little into the bend. All right, then I've got a piece of two millimeter sheet foam and I've prepped this just a little bit. It uh, is real simple. If you tie one or two of these flies, you can figure out exactly how you want to prep it this way to make your folds. I'm just going to tie this down. As I'm tying, I'm kind of folding, not tying super tight. I'm going to take it right back into just a little bit of the bend. Come back and kind of clean that up. A little bit of bulk is not a problem. All right, and then we're going to grab our rabbit strip. You could use cross cut or standard cut. It really doesn't matter. And then we're just going to palmer this forward. I got about four and a half turns there. Lash that down. All right, now my back, I'm just gonna pull this forward. And you see I've just created a little bit of a tie-in point there, just a little bit of a taper. I'm just gonna tie this in right behind the eye. Start with a couple soft wraps and then just add a little pressure. And then I want to get a good amount of thread on there to hold through that so it doesn't cut it. So that's nice and tight. Then I'm going to fold this back and reattach my thread right about a, you know, about a quarter inch back. And then this will end up being my ears. Before I do that, I'm going to add one more step. I'm going to spin in a little bit of extra hair to kind of fill in that tie-in point. So I've got this little uh, tool called a stone faux thread splitter. And I just push the needle right through and it splits my thread and divides it like that. It makes it real easy to add my uh, rabbit strip, which I'm going to spin in there. Seamus O'Callaghan First heard it from a kin Thomas O'Callaghan Talking to his grandchildren Don't be dilly-dallying Out behind the five and ten With a bunch of hooligans No shenanigans So, did my little thread split, wrapped some fur in there, folded this back. Now I'm going to cut off the top here. Now the fun thing about this is I can come through and divide this and I got some little ears. Boom. And then of course you can taper those into uh, ear shape by just taking it around with your scissors. Just like this guy right here. One last step to complete the fly here is we just touch it with a lighter just to burn that tail. Melt it so it doesn't unravel, just like that. Drowning mouse. <laughs>